क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन लाइन इज गिवन एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन थ्री इक्वल्स वाई माइनस थ्री अपॉन वन इक्वल टू जेड माइनस फोर अपॉन माइनस फाइव एंड देन देर इज अ प्लेन पी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द इमेज ऑफ दिस लाइन इन दिस प्लेन नाउ वी कैन सी द लाइन इज पैरल टू द प्लेन एज द डायरेक्शन रेशियो ऑफ द नॉर्मल टू दिस प्लेन इज टू माइनस वन वन एंड इट्स डॉट विथ द डायरेक्शन रेशियो ऑफ द लाइन इज जीरो दिस इज थ्री इंटू टू सिक्स then is minus 1 then is minus 5 that is zero so we can say this line is parallel to the plane now if we have to find out the image of this point 1 3 4 lying on the line in this plane we can use this formula x minus 1 upon 2 equals y minus 3 upon minus 1 equals z minus 4 upon 1 equal to minus 2 times ax1 by 1 cz1 that is 2 into 1 Minus three plus four plus three upon a square plus b square plus c square that is six. So this is seven nine minus three six. So this is going to be minus two. Now if we can see the value of x that is the reflection of the point one three four is going to be minus four plus one that is minus three. Y is going to be five and z is going to be two. So we can see the equation of the reflected line is going to be x plus three upon. Three equals y minus five upon one equal to z minus two upon minus five. So the correct answer is going to be one. In question number thirty-two, we have been given the coefficient of x cube and x cube power four in this expansion is uh, zero. So we are going to find out first the coefficient of x cube power three, and we are going to find out the uh, coefficient of x cube power four, and then we will equate them to zero. Now. If we are uh, finding out the coefficient of x cube first, we are finding out the coefficient of x cube power r in this. So the coefficient of x cube power r is eight eighteen c r into minus two cube power r. And from here on, we can calculate the coefficient of x cube. And this is equal to zero. And coefficient of x cube power four is also equal to zero. Now we can uh, use. Uh, This uh, expression to find out the coefficient of x cube power three, one will be multiplied with r equal to three, x cube power one will be multiplied with r equal to two, and so on. And we will get two equation: one fifty three a minus nineteen b equal to minus nine b equal to one six three two, and then three b minus thirty two a equal to minus two hundred forty. And by solving these two equation, we will get a equal to sixteen. And b equal to two seventy two upon three, and hence the correct answer is four. In question number thirty three, we can uh, change the equation to a square equals three times fractional part of x square minus two times fractional part of x. In this question, it is asked there is no integer integer solution of this equation. So we are going to first make a perfect square of this, and this is going to be three times fractional part of x minus one upon three. Whole square minus one by three. Since we are asked no integer solution of this, so there can be two things. One, this equation has solution, but no integer solution, or there is no solution of this equation. But if we are finding out that ki there is no just no integer solution, so we have fractional part of x non-zero, and this will give us a non-zero. If we look for ki there is no solution, if there is no integer solution, if there is No integer solution, but there is a solution. So we can say the range of a square is going to be between minus one by three, corresponding to a uh, fraction uh, this equal to zero, and less than one. When fractional part of x, uh, this is going to be this much, or minus zero. So a square has range less than one. This will imply a belongs to. Minus one is zero. Union zero to one. So corresponding to this range of a, this equation will have solution, but there is no integer solution. So the appropriate option according to the question is one.